These are some of the most powerful Karuko no Basket players. And they have special abilities like this. And like this. And I have one goal, to use a special ability with each character against the 2010 NBA All-Stars. First up, we got Murasaki Bara, and he's best known for his Thor's hammer dunk. But in order to do that, we gotta get a block first. And in my first block attempt, this happened. And I'm just waiting for somebody patiently to shoot it in the paint. And come on! Yes, we got the block right there in our first attempt. And let's just make sure it was a block. And yes, sir, it was. Now we can attempt the Thor's hammer dunk. And in my first attempt, he did this instead. See here? And that's that's a nice dunk, but that was not the Thor's hammer dunk. But he's just warming up. Like, look at this. Throw it out on Dwight. But then in my second attempt, this happened. Let's see if we can get it right here with a nice little spin move. Come on. Thor's hammer dunk. And there it is. What a throwdown. That's what we wanted to see. That was so nice. I mean, look at Dwight. He had no clue what was happening. Next up, we have Ryota Kise. He's well known for his copying abilities as he can copy any technique he sees, often with more power than the original. And the first player I decided to copy was Stephen Curry. And let's see what we can do right here. We got Curry. Oh, we got Curry slide. There it is. Oh, yeah. Step back. Three-point shot. This is deep. That's Curry range, and yes, sir. We got to see that one more time. He's like dribbling like Curry. Nice little step back, three-point shot. That was just too easy. The next player I decided to copy was James Harden, best known for his amazing dribble skills and ankle breakers. Let me get that ankle breaker on him. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Let's see it. Oh, we're almost there. Come on. It's so hard to break his ankles. Oh, there it is. Come on. And that's a nice little mid-range shot. We copied his ankle breaker. Yo, let's see that one more time. Yo, we literally sent him to the floor. I think he like fell face forward right there. Next up, we have Aumini Daiki. He's best known for his speed, agility, and street ball skills. And once he's in the zone, he's hard to stop. And right away, I noticed his speed and his agility. Look how quick he is, man. Look at this. Look at this. We are God. Yo, I'm gonna make a circle around Kawhi Leonard. And look at this. Let me get a jelly layup though. And okay. I'll get that throw down. Let's see that one more time. Oh my goodness. Albini Dyke is just way too quick for the NBA. And now that he's in the zone, it was so hard to control him because he was moving so fast. Bro, he's just too quick. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Look at this. Let me get a throw down right here. Hey, what a dunk from Albini Dyke. You cannot stop that. That was like a two-handed off two feet. All right, guys. I want to see something else from him. How about a steal and like a alley-oop right here? And look at this. Look at that steal. How about a self-flop right here? And a... We got to see this one more time, man. What a steal. He was nowhere near the ball. And somehow, he still got the steal. And then he got this nice self-flop alley-oop dunk. Let's go. Next up, we have Akashi. He's best known for his ankle breaker, a high-level speed dribble that disrupts his opponent's balance and makes him stumble on the ground. But for Akashi, we're going to attempt the rarest ankle breaker, and you wouldn't believe what happened. It's super hard to do, but I know we can do it. Come on. Here we go. Oh, we almost got it right there. Come on. It's got to be it. Ah, he just doesn't want to get his ankles broken. But then after a few more attempts, this happened. Right here. Oh, no, we got it. We actually got it. It was a long distance one. How about from half court right here? And bam. Yo. We got to see that one more time. With just a jab step, we broke Dwight Howard's ankles from like literally 15, 20 feet away from us. Next up, we have Mitarima. He can shoot the ball from anywhere outside the three-point line. And the ball flies with exceptional high arc. And he can also shoot from anywhere on the court. So we're going to step out of bounds right here. And we're going to try and make this shot from behind the hoop right here. And look at that, he's a lefty too. And look at that arc. What a shot, man, let's go. And now that he has sharp shooting takeover, he can shoot from anywhere on the court. So we're gonna step out of bounds right here. And we're gonna attempt to make this from full court and bam. I'm telling you, he does not miss. Next up, we have Karuko, and his ability is his amazing passing ability setting up his teammates. And in my first possession with him, he got this amazing pass. So let me try, ooh. 
Hey, that's a nice pass right there. And that's a three-point shot right there to Almini Daiki. But after that, he got this amazing steal. And you wouldn't believe what kind of pass he got next. Okay, guys. I'm going to try this alley right here. And hey, to Kagami. We haven't got to Kagami yet. But you know what's coming with this guy. He can throw it down. But before I could get to my next pass, Stephen Curry hit this three-point shot to tie the game. This is going to be a super close game. We got two minutes remaining. We need one more crazy pass right here. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try dotting this one to Murisaki Bada right here. And yo, what a pass and what a throwdown! We gotta see that one more time. Just take a look at how perfect that pass was. And Murisaki Bada with a throwdown out Anthony Davis. Next up, we have Kagami. He's best known for his dunking abilities when he's in the zone. And with the game tied 31 to 31, I decided to go for a long distance dunk with him. A dunk right here from the three point line on. Yo, no way! Bro, we just dunked on Giannis and Anthony Davis. And yo, look at that dunk, bro. Just take a look at Giannis. He's flying. <laughs> and with the game still very close, Carmel Anthony hit this three-point shot to take the lead. They're gonna take the lead. It's a one-point game. We're down by one. We gotta get one more crazy dunk right here with Kagami. And it's gotta be a contact dunk. Here we go, guys. Let me see it right here. Ooh, nice screen. Ooh, nice behind the back ankle breaker and yes sir let's go time out 2010 all-stars and now that we did a special ability with every character we just gotta win the game up by one with time running out i had to make one final stop we're just gonna work as a team and make a stop and hard it oh he missed it here we go guys let's pass it out to akashi i gotta see some more ankle breakers from him i'm trying to break lebron's ankles look at this Akashi with another ankle breaker. How about an alley -oop right here to Murisaki Bada right here? Hey, and no. Okay, you know what, guys? We got to try that again. No, LeBron stole the ball. Ooh, Dwight Howard got the ball. Can we get a block right here? Murisaki Bada. And oh, great defense. Yes, sir. And after making that stop, the 2010 NBA All-Stars decided to intentionally foul. Guys, we are getting fouled. But you know what? I'm going to go for something crazy, guys. I'm actually going to go for an alley-oop on inbound right here to Kagami. Can we do it though right here? And no, we lost it. And with time right now in the fourth quarter, Stephen Curry hit this two-point shot to take the lead. We can't allow Curry to make this. And he makes it. And with less than 10 seconds remaining, I decided to pass it out to Midorima for the game-winning shot. Here we go, guys. Midorima got the ball. I'm going to take this one from the corner right here. I don't know why he's not guarded, but he's in the zone. Three seconds. This is to win it right here. And yes, let's go. I don't know why they're, wait, hold on. Did that not count? There's no shot clock because this is a modded court. So we're going to have to find out exactly what the ref says right here. I hope this counts because if it doesn't, we lose the game because we're down by one. Let's see what the ref says. And it counted. And just like that, we completed every challenge and won the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see another cool video just like this, click right here.